It's Friday, November 16th, 2012. Hello, I'm Veronique Masterson at the College of Business Administration, and here's what you need to know about what's happening at the University of Texas at El Paso. More than 300 students and faculty members will join together for the UTEP Department of Music's 10th Annual Gala. A range of pieces showcasing the talents of the individuals who make up the department will be performed. In addition, local philanthropists J.O. and Marlene Stewart will be honored with the Outstanding Contributors of Music Award by the Department of Music. Jimmy Olivas, owner of Olivas Music, will be recognized as the year's outstanding alum for more than 30 years of providing music essentials for El Paso Elementary, Middle, High School, and University Band and Orchestra programs. Googlers from all over the country gathered on campus for a two-day retreat to get to know UTEP computer science and engineering students. The visit marked the start of the beta program Google Dive, or Developing Innovative Engineers, and Google's collaboration with UTEP. The university is a founding member of the Computing Alliance for Hispanic Serving Institutions or CASI. CASI is a consortium of universities that are dedicated to increasing the number of Hispanics earning baccalaureate and advanced degrees in computing, a goal shared by Google. Did you know that although we can't see them, tiny man-made nanoparticles are all around us in sunscreen, fuel, makeup, and even powdered donuts? With a diverse range of potential applications, engineered nanoparticles are being used more and more to create novel technologies and medicines. Dr. Jorge Gardea Torres, the chair of the Department of Chemistry at UTEP, is studying how manufactured nanomaterials can get into the environment through fuel fumes and wastewater runoff and ultimately land in soil and affect plant life. Gardea Torres Day's most recent focus has been soybean and cucumber plants in which he found that certain metal nanoparticles can alter crop quality, yield, and even affect the rate at which certain plants act as natural fertilizers. The soybean research has recently been published in the U.S. National Academy of Sciences flagship journal, Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. Gardea Torres Day's goal is to generate a risk assessment of manufactured nanomaterials and recommend environmental health and safety regulations if need be. UTEP's College of Business Administration's MBA program has received the Vision of Excellence Award from the El Paso Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. The award recognizes visionaries who chart new courses and break new ground while continuing to add value in all they do. The Chamber's CEO, Cindy Ramos Davison, said the program meets the needs of not only our community, but the needs of the national business world. This is one of the highest honors bestowed by the El Paso Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Students, faculty, and staff got a blast of intense cardio dancing with the Student Rec Center's 100 Minutes of Zumba event. The dance party was part of UTEP's ongoing centennial celebration that leads up to its 100th anniversary in 2014. The group of dancers performed cardio fitness dance routines for 100 minutes, with each minute representing every year that UTEP has been open. For more information about these and other stories, check out utepnews.com. I'm Veronique Masterson. Go Miners!